and studs. Plastic sushi fans and nano block lovers. Boy, do I have a few sushi models that I want to share with you. This is Bruce and Studs, and we are going to be doing our first foray out of the comfortable confines of Legoland. I'll have to preface this video by saying that I was pretty frustrated when I was building these four pieces of sushi because, well, the instructions are complete crap, the pieces are so damn tiny, and some of the bricks just do not fit together in a conventional way like how LEGO builds their models. So first we are going to be building a red snapper with yuzu on top, then the second model we are going to be featuring is a rainbow roll, then the third piece of, I guess, sushi we're going to feature is a kapamaki or otherwise known as a cucumber roll, and finally we will finish off the video with the Spanish mackerel, which was the most frustrating out of the four to build as you can see later on. You may ask where the heck do you get these sushi models? Well unfortunately they are not offered anymore at the Kaiten Sushi restaurant that I like to go eat. So what the heck is Kaiten Sushi? Well it is conveyor belt sushi. The chefs place the sushi on a covered plate and that plate is put on the conveyor belt and then you as the diner can take that sushi off the conveyor belt and eat it. These places usually charge per plate and they will serve a multitude of different nigiri which is rice with raw fish on top or different kinds of rolls. This particular restaurant whenever you eat 15 plates of sushi they will dispense a free prize and in this case the prizes are plastic versions of the sushi they serve which I think is pretty cool. Because I love sushi and bricks I decided to feature these builds on the channel. I figured what the heck why not. However, due to the complexity of building the sushi, especially the red snapper and the mackerel, I kind of regretted the decision because there's just so many do-overs and jump cuts when I edited the video. At one point in time, I kind of felt like scrapping the whole entire damn thing because I was frustrated with the builds, but you know what? I stuck to my guns and finished the sushi models. One of the reasons why I disliked building these things was due to some pieces hanging off of another piece, and that piece was clinging onto one stud only. In the LEGO world, that is absolutely unheard of. Almost 99% of the time, most of those pieces are secured on tightly. Alright, alright, enough complaining, right? After all, it was my decision to feature these models of sushi on my channel. Oh, speaking of decisions, I hope that you, the viewer, will make the informed decision to subscribe to this channel. In, in case if you are new, we predominantly feature LEGO builds, However, we occasionally will throw in Warhammer 40k painting tutorials and perhaps actually Age of Sigmar painting tutorials as well. There are some other instances where I will talk about the channel in the series called Besides the Bricks. And finally, there may or may not be builds that feature LEGO, non-LEGO content such as this one. So please subscribe if you want to see some varied content. Current subscribers, again, I want to say thank you for your continued support. You guys are the best and I would not be here if it was not for you all. Every single one of you motivate me to push bigger and better content. Overall, I think the cucumber roll probably looks most accurate to its real life counterpart. I think that if I did not tell you guys what these nano blocks represented beforehand, you'd all probably assume that they were anything but sushi, right? And I would definitely agree with you. The pieces of red snapper and macro nigiri look like, well, I can't even begin to describe to you what the heck they look like. Um, I suppose this is another reason why LEGO is so dominant in the brick building brands. It's just awesome because when you look at a LEGO build, you immediately know what it represents. Anyway, despite my complaining, I hope you enjoyed these four separate builds combined into one video. Please let me know in the comments section if you want to see more non-LEGO type builds such as this one on the channel. 
This will help introduce some variety into the videos that are featured on this channel. That being said, this is Bruce and Studs, and apparently we are out of time in this video. So I will see you all in the next build.